welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing my full coverage everyday glam i know i get tons of questions on how i do my everyday full coverage um glam and that's what i'm going to be doing today i feel like my everyday glam always changes it's either like minimal eye makeup or minimal face makeup but i think this time it's gonna be the other way around i'm gonna focus more on my face than my eyes so that's what i pretty much do um, now and then when I you know go out or do anything important then I do a more glam eye so let me know if you guys like the lighting because I did kind of change it up I actually bought like two boards so like the light reflects more on me rather than like outside you know what I mean so if you guys want to learn how I do my full coverage everyday makeup then please keep on watching all right so first I always prep my skin um I already moisturized and all that and I even put eye cream before so now I'm just going to be applying my primer I feel like primer is so important when it comes to your makeup especially for your everyday makeup and what I mean everyday makeup is I've been using this non-stop like I recommend it I genuinely genuinely love these products so first I'm going to prep my skin I've been obsessed with this product this is the skin SkinCeuticals multifunctional serum to help amplify skin it's in this bottle right here you guys I I'm like actually like addicted to this thing because I use this at night and I also use this as a primer. Um, this is a really good serum for primer because it's, you guys, it's so tacky. I freaking love it and it looks kind of like jelly. I don't know why it looks like it. It works so good. It's also in my skincare routine. So yeah, I really highly recommend this product. It's on, more on a pricier side, but I know that my makeup's going to stay. That's why I'm like, I like highly recommend it. Now I'm just going to prime my T-zone area. And lately, you guys, my T-zone area has been so dry. Dry, and I'm pretty sure it's because of all the traveling that I've been doing. I just went to New York like two days ago. I just got back. Yeah, my skin has just been going insanely dry right now. It's not even funny. So since my skin has been a little bit um, dry, I always like to apply the Glam Glow Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray. It's this one right here. It really does make a difference when I apply my foundation. It makes it like more dewier and I just love it when I have dry skin. I'm gonna let that soak in. It feels so good. And now I'm gonna apply my foundation. The foundation that I absolutely love right now and I recommend to anybody that's normal to combination skin, this is this right here will be your best friend. You guys, this is the NARS Natural Radiant Cut. Radiant creamy. I was gonna say radiant creamy, but it is the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation, and I am in the color Abura. I can't get enough of how good this foundation is. Like seriously, it just has changed my foundation routine. I'm just going to be applying it with my Eco Tool sponge. It covers everything. It's full coverage. The color is just right. Everything is perfect about this foundation. Like, you never hear me say that, but it is. Look at that. Like, I love how I don't have to go back again with another layer of foundation because then it just ends up looking super cakey love how this one i don't have to go back and forth and do all that all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer and the concealer that i'm gonna be using today is the laura mercier um flawless fusion ultra longwear um concealers i have two shades right here i have the shade 4n and 4n is to conceal any dark areas that i have going on or like pimples or you know just little scars peeking through and then i use 3w to highlight my face um i like doing that because i don't know i feel like that looks better on me so i'm just going to add a little bit under my eye really quick and then any little pimples that i have going on and now i'm gonna go ahead and blend it all with my equal tool sponge i've been loving this sponge lately it's so good and i like it because first of all it's a it's 
more affordable than the actual beauty blender and then b um it's so like it's such good quality i like how it has the concealer side foundation side and it's flat right here so it's perfect to like bake underneath So now I'm going to highlight. I'm going to highlight with 3W, also from Laura Mercier, and I'm just going to apply three little stripes, and then I'm also going to apply this on my forehead. Also, you guys, I know that the trend that um, people are doing, like I followed Blank Blank Blake's makeup tutorial. Let me know who you guys would like to see me um, recreate and I'll see. So let me know if you guys want to see um, a video of that. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and cream contour. I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Foundation and Contouring Stick. This has quickly become one of my favorites. Don't get scared, I still love my Wet n Wild makeup stick. And you're also getting a foundation, so you're getting a contour side and then also a foundation. And I also tried the foundation, it's really good. I feel like I need to try it out one more time and tell you guys if I do like it or not. And now I'm going to contour my nose. I like blending my nose contour with this G34 brush from Morphe. It's really, really good. Alright, so next, what I like doing is just getting my sponge, and I like to just blend any harsh edges that we have going on. Alright, so next, I'm gonna set my concealer, and you guys are all probably guessed. I like using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, the best powders. I think I've said this so many times already, but... I like genuinely feel like this powder, No, you can't compare anything to it, not even the Kat Von D um, translucent powder or the Laura Mercier powder. Like I seriously prefer this powder more than anything right now. I feel like you guys already know my little technique. I like to set my under eyes first and then I like to like press the powder into my skin, like melting it. And yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Um, so now I'm just going to be bronzing up my face. I'm going to bronze with my BH Cosmetics Satin Bronzer. Alright, so you guys know that I love contouring. And for today's and for today's contour, I'm going to be using the Take Home the Bronze from The Bomb. And this is in the shade Gram. And I just take some on this Makeup Shack T21. And then I just like to do circular motions. So now I'm just going to go ahead and apply some blush. I'm going to be applying my good old California blush from Benefit. All right, so now that our face is beat to the gods, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera. I feel like you guys already know how my whole eyebrow routine goes. And if you guys want to learn how I do my brow routine, I will list a link down below. I'll take you straight to my brow tutorial. I'll see you guys right now when I have my brows done. All right, guys. So now that we have our eyebrows done, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeshadow. I'm actually not going to be doing so much on my eyes. I'm going to keep it minimal. So I'm going to be taking one eyeshadow color that I'm going to be taking is from the Dose of Colors Sassy CNS palette. It's very dirty. As you guys can see, I use it a lot. <laughs> so I love the Dose of Colors Sassy CNS palette. I love taking um, Oso oh Sassy and then um, I just apply this right on my crease as a transition color. As you guys can see, it's 
crazy pigmented so a little bit goes a long way y'all I'm blending it with this Makeup Shack T43 brush. I'm going to be taking a different brush. This is also from Makeup Shack. This is the T12 brush. I haven't really played with shimmery eyeshadows lately. I feel like uh, in the summertime. Can't wait to wear shimmery eyelids all the time like every day you guys i will so yeah this is pretty much it what i do with my eyes like an everyday eye this is pretty much what i do to my eyes um i know it's super easy super simple but now i'm just going to do my bottom lash line Alright, so for lashes, I love taking my Makeup Shack Dubai lashes. You guys know that I'm just like obsessed with these lashes right now. So now I'm just going to be applying my Benefit Bad Gal Bank Mascara. This mascara has been one of my favorites recently. It's so good. Look how long my lashes look after I apply. I've been highlighting my face with two different highlighters. First highlighter that I've been using is this Dose of Colors Mirame highlighter. This is the Katie and Desi highlighter. And I take a little bit of this. I have like a pimple right here. Oh, so visible. No more eating unhealthy. No more eating hot Cheetos. Even though they're so good. I'm gonna quit snacks. I'm gonna quit. Hot Cheetos for a moment. Not forever, but for right now because my skin is not looking good. Like, look at that. I actually did some extractions last night, so maybe they're just swollen. So next, I'm going to be applying this MAC Hyper Real Glow. And I'm going to be taking these two colors right here in the palette. This one right here and this one. And I'm just going to be applying it right on top of so something that i've been love that i've been doing is applying highlighter right here and then down. Just makes the nose look I feel like more cuter. And then I'm also going to be applying that highlighter right underneath my brow bone to give it a little touch. So I'm going to do my lower lash line. I mean, my lower lashes. Alright guys, so last but not least, I'm going to do my lips. I've been loving this MAC lip liner. This is in the shade Morning Coffee. You guys know that I love the Dose of Colors Knock on Wood shade. It's like one of my favorite. Then I use this um, Smashbox Always On Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in Deep Thoughts. I either keep my lip matte or I use gloss. Depending on my mood, like how I feel that day, I either keep them matte or I either keep them glossy. But if I do want them glossy, I don't think I want it glossy. I really like how my lip is looking right now. Um, I always use either this gloss right here. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. Or I use the new Dose of Colors lip glosses. This is in Honey I Am Home. This is a really, really pretty gloss. But yeah, guys, last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and set my makeup with the Morphe Setting Spray. Spray. Just gonna. It smells so good too. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for my everyday full coverage glam. I always fall in love with this makeup tutorial every time I do it. Just because my skin looks super dewy and glowy, and it just looks like I tried a lot, but I really didn't. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my everyday full coverage glam. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That will help me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.